I've, I've done something for you, I've got a little surprise for you. Underneath someone's chair is a gold envelope. If you could just look for it now, um, stand up and you'll see there is a gold envelope and it's, it's, it's sellotaped underneath it, so you might have to have a proper look. That's it. Only joking. Just, just wanted to... Hey, hey! Run, Forrest, run! No, he I just wanted to get some energy in the room. And really, what I've tried to do in my career is build a property empire around my business. Um, I am obsessed with property. I love property. I absolutely love the thing. But what I've realised, if you want to get really good in property and build a serious property empire, you need a cash flowing business to be the, the, the driver of that. So quick question for the group. Hands up if you've got a business. Who's got a business? Hands up if you've not got a business. Hands up if you're not sure. I mean, so there's some people that have definitely not put their hands up there. Um, I don't usually talk about Roth, I usually talk about business, but I know you guys are into property, which is generally wealth creation stuff. So I'm gonna talk about wealth today. Four ways to wealth, gang. How many guys? Four. Oh, that's the one. And we're gonna work them out right now. We're gonna go in opposite order. Anyone get any ideas what one of those could be? Brilliant, I'll write it up, that's great. You can marry it. <laughs> Meghan Markle's done it gang, hasn't she? Very successful, that woman there. What the ladies, what the man? Pardon? What the man? Yeah, and the men can do it too. Um, the other one, sadly, is death. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm being serious here. Marrying and death is a, is a way lots of people get one thing. Then the worst one is income. Very rarely. Next one is assets. Third one is business. We're going to go through them now. Let's talk about income first of all. Very rarely do people get wealthy on income. I call income fast pound money. Or if I was in America, I'd call it fast dollars. Fast pound because it comes in and it goes out very quickly. Those of you that are on a salary, comes in, goes out. Fast pound, it goes in, goes out. Cash comes in, cash goes out. Unless you are a super duper high earner, like CEO of a FTSE 100, or your Beyonce, or something like that, where you're generating huge income, it's very hard to get wealthy through income. Next one is assets, so that'd be property, stocks and shares, blue chip stuff. And then the third one is business. What we want to get to, guys, is slow pounds and fast pounds. We want to be working on slow pounds and fast pounds, and using a 50-50 approach from our income. What is he talking about? I will clarify for you right now. So, here we go. Of our income, if you want to get wealthy, you've got to put 50% of what you earn into slow pound assets, property. You guys probably understand this stuff, but you've probably never heard it in the 50-50 way before. So if you earn 100,000 pounds after tax, 50% of that, I want you to put into assets, and then 50% I'm gonna allow you to live on. The problem is, not many people earn 100,000 pounds, average salary in this country, 25,000 pounds. So not many people can live on 12 and a half, and it's less than that when you take it into tax. So how can you do it? Number three, business. This is far more achievable to do. Build a profitable business, so that you can get into that 50-50 living. So half of your income should go in to slow pound building assets. And maybe it's property, but some people do stocks and shares. I know nothing about it, but for me it's property, which I'm guessing, unless you're in the wrong room, that will be you too. So we want to know, understand the difference between slow pounds and fast pounds. So 50% we can live on, 50% we invest. And if we live to that rule, We'll find wealth. Very, very simple. It can happen very, very easily. The thing is, how can we get the 50-50 up? Because you might say, well, I want to live on 150 grand a year for the lifestyle that I've got. So you've got around 300,000, so you can put 150 into slow pound stuff, and then you can have the 150,000 to live on, because you might have private school fees. I was an entrepreneur the other day. 90,000 pounds a year on private school fees. I was like, oh my God. I couldn't believe it. So, you know, there's some real serious stuff that people need to live on. So, how do we do it? What's the easiest way to do it? We build a cash flowing business, a business that can cash flow this stuff to drive our property company. Write this down, guys, because this, this is the ultimate secret source to growing serious wealth. It's business first, property second. Or doing it in unison. 
Business is far more tax efficient than property. You can do so much more with business than property, but you can drive the cash out of your business into property stuff. And, and I'll tell you now, I get much easier funding through my business for my property stuff because banks want to lend to businesses very easily. One of my clients I've been working with right now, we've just bought £350,000 commercial property. We went to the bank and I helped him, we went to Lloyd's and I put an enterprise finance guarantee scheme in for him with the bank. Zero deposit to buy a £350,000 commercial property because it was with the trading business. No jiggery-pokery here. No, no money down secret sort of stuff where no one knows about it. Just talking to the bank and saying, this is the way we want to structure it because you've got to help us because we want to cash flow the business. It's very possible to do this when you put a business next to your property. Empire business. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I've done. There's just one little way that if you have a business around you, you can really drive the property company. Has anyone seen a great film in business education? It's called The Founder. It's about the McDonald's story. Yeah. Great, great film. You can get it on Netflix. It's a real good education. Um, and it's called The Founder. It's about the story of how Ray Kroc set up McDonald's. And basically, Ray was doing franchising. So he set out a franchise of the McDonald's thing to someone else. And it wasn't doing as they were told. Genius moment for him, he said, well, I'm going to start owning the property. So franchising only works when you own brand or land. I mean a serious brand, like Costa, Disney, Starbucks, McDonald's, Apple. So if you have a real serious brand, people do what they say because they don't want you to take that serious brand away from them. But if you haven't got the brand, you need to own the land, which in the early days, McDonald's didn't have the brand that they have now. It takes generations to build a serious brand, like two or three generations. So he said, well, I'm going to own the land, we're going to become a property company and we're going to sell the operating company to other people. Genius. You guys can do the same. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Really hope you earned loads. Now, here's a few things that you need to do. You need to hit subscribe so you're notified when we bring out a new video and you can watch the rest of our videos by clicking here and it gets better than that. If you want to come and spend the day with me and learn some real entrepreneurial stuff, come to my free super success seminar. All the details of how you can come along to that are in the link in the description on the video. See you very soon. Bye-bye.